welcome back to day three of the Ruby Games. Um, so, if this is your first time watching this series, click up here to the playlist to go start from the very beginning, and you can play along with us. Um, today is the cutoff point for people, for new people joining in, so uh, you have until I upload day four to join in. So, uh, which will to be tomorrow. <laughs> um, I'm doing videos uh, today, Saturday, sun Sunday, and Monday. So we're going to get four days out out of out of, uh, out of the way this weekend. So uh, yeah, <laughs> um, so yeah. So click away right now if you don't want spoilers. All right. So where we left off, uh, some people died. Some people, some, three people died. Two people? Three. Two, three. Something like that. <laughs> I think two people. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go through the list. Just kind of update everyone. Um, your picks are fine. You lost summer. Your picks are fine. <laughs> your picks are fine. Izzy, you lost two. Um, doubles, you're fine. Black Rose, you lost three. Like I said, you're still in the run. <laughs> Frederick lost one. And Joey lost two. And I would like to welcome Robert, uh, who lost one immediately. <laughs> um, well, not immediately, but he lost one. Um, so yeah, so there you go. Um, all right, let's get started, shall we? Proceed. Day three. Sage, Ironwood, Melsha, and Coco team up to take down a pack of Beowulfs. Excellent. I don't know if Coco needs the help. <laughs> she probably do herself. But, you know, whatever. Uh, Crow and Winter team up to take down a pack of Beowulfs. It's hilarious that happened because they're two new characters in Volume 3. <laughs> um, Neptune, Adam, Ublek, and Melanie team up to take down a group of adult Ursas. Excellent. Adam and Ublek will definitely be the the heavy hitters in that run. I apologize if you hear a train um, in the in the background. I does, I have a win my window open because it's kind of warm, and there's a train going by right now, so I apologize. Um, Reese, Mercury, Blake, and Carden team up to take down an adult Deathstalker. That would be tough. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yang comes across an old campsite from another player. Oh, man. Hot on the trail. Sky helps shopkeep escape a Deathstalker. <laughs> okay. Wasn't it like day one or something like that where he was running away from Deathstalker? <laughs> uh, Yasuhashi watches the deer and fox talk in the distance. Interesting, interesting. Bullen's aura goes into the red after fighting a pack of creeps. There you have it. Bullen is defeated. I am pretty sure nobody picked Bullen. I could be wrong on that. I'll, I'll look later. Um, uh, so yeah, if your if your pick was Bullen, I am sorry. Sorry, <laughs> messing up on words today. <coughs> okay, let's keep going. Uh, Pyr climbed a tree for a better view of the forest. Excellent, excellent. Always good to have good surroundings. Scarlet spots Ozpen and Junior fighting Be Beowulves. Excellent. Sun spots Cinder and Ruby fighting an Ursa. Mm, interesting combination of people there. <laughs> uh, Tuxin and Jean team up to take down a Barbatusk. Nice, nice. Russell and Penny decide to trees for the day. Okay, interesting. Uh, Nora helps Ren fight off a huge pack of Beowulves. Nice, nice. Weiss and Dove team up to take down a pack of Beowulves. Nice, nice. A lot of fighting going on. Lot, not a lot of team. Um, <coughs> Torchwick sees an adult Ursa walking through the forest, but decides to stay hidden. Probably good, yeah. Uh, Violet sees an adult Ursa walking through the forest and decides to stay hidden. <laughs> a, lot of, like, a lot of repeats for some reason. Uh, Glinda tracks a pack of Beowulves but stays in the shadows. Interesting. Alright. 
So there we have it. Okay, so two cannon shots, keep your herd. Summer and Bullen. R.I.P. No, I'm just kidding. They didn't die. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, let's see everyone's... Let's see, Ruby got one one point. Uh, a lot of people still alive. Fox got one point. Cinder got one point. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Dope got one point. Man, yeah, a lot, not a lot of... Uh, a lot of points going on. A lot of people defeated. See, Crow's the only one left in Quartz team. Um, Reese and Nadir are the only ones left in Auburn. Adam and Winter are the only ones left in that team. Not team, but district. <laughs> uh, DJ Bear is the only one gone from that. Uh, team Club. Mr. Port is the only one defeated from um, team Teacher. <laughs> Emerald is the only one from Team Bad Guy. And there you have it. Okay. So we're getting down... We're slowly kind of whittling down the... the picks. Okay, so, Night 3. A Borba Tusk attacks Mercury's camp. He manages to defeat it with no issues. Excellent. Melanie sleeps in the tree overlooking the forest. Nice, nice. Reese quietly hums. Alright. <laughs> I don't know her personality, so... Probably a thing that she might do. Look, from the look of her, she looks like a punk rock kind of... <laughs> kind of chick. Um, so... <laughs> I don't know. Um, Ironwood finds a cave, but sees that Sage is already inside. Mmm. Conflict. Melsha sets up camp for the night. Excellent. Nora passes out from exhaustion. Alright. A Death Stalker attacks Dove's camp. He manages to defeat it, but his aura is hurt. So he's not defeated. His aura is hurt. <laughs> um, Ruby sleeps in the tree overlooking the forest. Yeah, Clint. Uh, Weiss sees a tiny f camera fly toward another player. She follows. Interesting. So maybe she might not be passive this game. <laughs> Remember last game, she, uh, she was very passive. Uh, Blake thinks about winning. I hope we do. <laughs> She's one of the picks. <laughs> right there. Um, Alright. Fox and Neptune team up to fight Grimm for the night. After fighting Grimm for the night. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Shopkeep is attacked by Barbara Tusk in the dark, and he manages to win. Excellent. <laughs> Using those tools, those like noodle, noodle tools to your advantage. <laughs> uh, Atuhashi spots Goliath and watches from a distance. Interesting, interesting. A creep attacks Sky's camp. He manages to defeat it with no issues. Interesting. And excellent. Uh, Cinder flies a camp. Flies a cave, but sees that Torchwick is already inside. Well, I mean, you are both bad guys. I mean, you could probably team up for the night, or stay in the same place for the night. Uh, Glinda, Glinda sorry, is attacked by a Borba Tusk in the dark. And manages to win. Excellent. Jean is attacked by Bromtask in the dark, and also manages to win. Excellent. Uh, Junior and Ren witness a pack of Beowulfs roaming the area. Nice. Deathstalker attacks Tuxen's camp. He manages to defeat it, but his aura is hurt. Again, not defeated. <laughs> he's, he's just hurt. Velvet passes out from exhaustion. Um, never more attacks Nadir's camp. He manages to defeat it, but his aura is hurt. Um, Pyrrha climbs a tree to rest. Um, Sun is attacked by a Beowulf in the dark, but manages to win in complete darkness. Um, oh yeah, so... I should probably mention this. <laughs> um, Nadir up here. Defeated in, defeated in Nevermore uh, by himself. It's not the adult Nevermore, the big, big ones. Like, I, I'm kind of thinking, like, the ones that you see in the show, like, those were, like, the the big adult ones that have been around for a while. Um, so, I'm calling those ones, like, the big ones, like, the ones that Team Ruby fought, and the ones that Coco killed, the three of them that Coco killed. Um, I'm calling those ones adult, adult Nevermores. Um, so, these, this one he killed was a younger one, so like a little smaller one. Um, 
So yeah, if you, if you ever see just like the name Nevermore, that means the the young, the young version of it. Um, alright. Um, Adam sits on a cliff site, cliff side, overlooking a large number of grip. I apologize if this music is kind of loud. I go to the next one. Okay. Um, oh yeah. So um, I'm gonna put a link in the description to this music. So if you like it. You can go to the guy who I uh, who played it. Um, what's his name again? <laughs> I am so sorry. Uh, yeah, it's in the description. So if you look down below, you'll see it there. Um, Winter is attacked by a big wolf in the dark, but manages to win in complete darkness. Excellent. <coughs> you know, we don't know her weapon. Um, but yeah. <laughs> she manages to win. Um, Alright, Nevermore attacks Carol's camp. Manages to defeat it, but his aura is hurt. Penny attacks Yang's camp and defeats them. So, Yang is defeated. Penny is victorious. Penny attacks Yang's camp and defeats them. So, yeah, Yang is defeated. Let's see, who picked Yang? Robert, you picked Yang. Sorry, I saw her. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> Black Rose, <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> wow, you are getting like the short end of this. But you still have Blake, so you gotta hope for, for her to win. For both of us. <laughs> but wow, you are. All your picks are falling. That sucks. I'm sorry. Um, let's see, who else had. Uh, irrelevance. So, your first pick finally got defeated uh, so I apologize for that and uh, Hurudo your pick has also been defeated um, I don't think you would no okay remember you and having somebody with yellow, yellow yellow hair but yeah it was just John it was just John <laughs> um, yeah so I apologize to anyone else who picks Yang <laughs> She is defeated. Um, okay, so Ublik and Coco team up after fighting Grim for the night. Excellent. Uh, Ozpin is defeated after a long battle with an adult Goliath. Oh man. That sucks. So, the big Goliath things that Ruby and Dr. Ublek were looking at um, in, I think it was just called Mountain Glen. Or Field Trip? One of those. <laughs> um, those big, like, uh, elephant uh, grim. Those are the Goliaths. And Ozpin was defeated by an adult one. So, basically one of those in the show. Uh, dude, I, gotta, I gotta start memorizing the... Oh, I, it's kinda hard to... I don't think anyone chose, U chose Ublik. Oh, doubles located. So here, your first... Your first pick has been defeated. I am so sorry. I know you get it in a big Um, let's see. Joey, you as well. So you're getting down there with, with Black Rose, who's been losing people left and right. So you gotta hope for Ruby and uh, Cinder to get get you through this, and maybe one of them can win. <laughs> and uh, yeah. All right, let's get keep going. We're almost at the bit at the bottom. So uh, Russell and Crow team up after fighting Grim for the night. Excellent. And finally, um, a Taijitu attacks Cardin's camp. He manages to defeat it, but his aura is hurt, so he's not defeated yet. All right. So there you have it. Um, I will go through the list. Um, or I will go through the pictures of these and mark off all of the ones, all the people that have been defeated. So it, it was uh, Ozpin, Yang, and uh, Bolin, but no one picked Bolin, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm sorry to Joey and Black Rose, who <laughs> their picks are starting to fall like flies, so, but it happens. Everyone's Everyone's picks are going to start falling sooner or later. 
I mean, hell, all my picks might die in the next episode. <laughs> you don't know. Um, so, thank you so much for watching. Um, like I said, uh, today is the f final day to kind of get your picks into the show. So that way you can have your picks up on your screen that I'm accepting. Um, if you do join later on, um, I won't put you on the show. Uh, but because it, at this point it's kind of it's really hard to tell if people are legitly making their list without knowledge of who's already been defeated so like you know you're it, it, it's I know you're probably, you probably don't aren't doing this but it seems like you m may be cheating the system a bit to already know who's defeated kind of thing um, so uh, yeah, so you have until I upload day four um, to get your picks in, so you can have your name right here. <laughs> um, yeah. So, like I said, I will be doing uh, videos uh, today, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So four days this weekend. Um, so look out for day four tomorrow, um, and should be fine. Okay, I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>